four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. All the central characters in the aftermath are hurting because they've lost someone very close to them. That makes sense given we're talking about the wash-up to the Second World War. The English have taken over Berlin, which has been left in ruins. They've seconded houses from the Germans, and by and large, there's no love lost for them. Conversely, strong pockets of resistance remain among those loyal to the Fuhrer and his concept of an Aryan race born to rule. Into this powder keg environment steps a genteel English lady, Rachel Morgan, played by Kira Knightley, whose measured husband, Lewis, Jason Clark, a British army colonel, is partly responsible for the clean-up. The pair lost their 11-year-old son in a bombing of London by the Germans three years earlier. Her pain remains palpable, and since then, he's been an absent soul, always at work, always doing his duty for king and country, rather than being there for her. That's been his way of dealing with the tragedy, or more correctly put, not dealing with it. He's been in Berlin for some time when his wife arrives, and he remains as busy and as needed as ever by his military masters. He's been gifted the largest and most spectacular home in the city, that of a former architect and now sheet metal worker, Stephen Lubert, played by Alexander Skarsgård. Lubert is a he-man who lost his wealthy wife during the war and owned that house until the Brits claimed it. He's decent and respectful and nice to Lewis and Rachel, although his daughter Frieda, Flora Thiemann, is cold and distant to them. Stephen and his daughter intend only to stay on in the house for a short time, in the loft, mind you, until circumstances change quite dramatically in more ways than one. You're listening to Movies First. For more, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Slow-moving, at times melodramatic, the aftermath still makes for an eminently watchable, tangled web. Kira Knightley, always worth following because of her acting prowess, is the glue that binds this dramatic romance together. Her character is the one most emotionally fragile and wrought, and it's difficult not to be impressed by her range of emotions. Australian Jason Clarke does a decent job too as the stiff upper lip Englishman, whose refusal to share is the cause of so much of what happens. As for Alexander Skarsgård, he just has to stand there and look good for women to swoon. He may be too good to be true, but his character's empathy is a sharp counterpoint to Clark's portrayal. As for the daughter, she's a lost soul, hurt, angry and bitter. The aftermath may be formulaic, often predictable, but it looks good and will satisfy some. It scores a six to six and a half, out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Subscribe to the full podcast at Stitcher and iTunes or your favourite podcast distributor. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.